Eli täällä on tapahtunut murha ja mun pitäisi tutkia se. Mutta joo, hei, jos katsotte tätä YouTubesta, niin mielellään tykätkää. Muuten YouTube-algoritmit ei näytä tätä mun pelipideoita yhtään kenellekään. You're set. I still don't understand why we aren't doing this in the Chronicum. The storage room? This is a bloody disgrace. All the rooms in the Chronicum are occupied. Also, we don't know how the magic in the temple would react to the activation of the casket. So, if something goes wrong... Then the boom. explosion only tears the three of us apart. How reassuring. But I get your point. Let's get started. Prophetess, open the casket. What do you think? Anything that helps us find her killer. Prophetess, did it work? She isn't reacting. We should... Well then. Let's find the mole. All trails lead here. Missä ollaan? Still fresh. So our mole was here not too long ago. Tasty. Krypta, missä tää on. Well, well. This looks much more like a hideout, doesn't it? Traps, traps, traps. Don't want anybody to find your lair, do you? Well, too late.
Kenin luola on tämä piilopaikkan kaupungin alla. Tämä on ilmeisesti kyllä pääs. Johonkin, niin, niin löytänyt jotain, mitä sen ei olisi pitänyt löytää. These are the robes the mercenaries in old Russian grad wore. Hmm. That doesn't really help me. Niin kuka oli palkattu tota estämään? So our mole is a sinistrope. Eli velho, sinistrope velho. What the? Naomi's brandy. Didn't know you could even get that over here. Eli nehrimi is siis tää kotosilma velho. Well, well. How careless of you. Leaving a letter down here for everyone to read? Let's see. You? No, that isn't possible. All right. Upper floor. First room on the left. Madam, how can I help? Where's the innkeep? Running an errand. How can I help? A pint of mead or a bed? A bed. Five pennies, right? Here you go. And here's the key. First room on the left. Have a great stay. I will. Not one step further. 
Wait, please, I, I can explain everything. Fuck your explanation. You betrayed us. A chance, Lishari. That, that's all I'm asking for. Come. Explain. You have ten minutes. Tämä oli eri huone, missä se kuoli. What is it? Huh? You've been staring into that mug for over a minute now. What is it? Well, let me think. I just learned that my former companion betrayed me and followed us to Enderal without my knowledge. There, he hired a mercenary army, wreaked havoc on our excavation site, destroyed my research, and massacred our allies. I just hired them to destroy the research, damn it. Is it my fault they snapped? Also, it's godlands they kill. The enemies we spent decades fighting in case you forgot. I can't stand those stuck-up idiots either, but the Lightborn are dead, and we need the Order's resources to stop the cycle. Well, let's skip this part, shall we? We've had that discussion before. The question is, where do we go from here? I told you, let me go. You have my word that I won't mess with your plans any longer. If Juslan, Constantine, and you want to betray everything we stood for, it's your call. No more mercenaries, no more sabotage. There's a ship leaving for Narum in two weeks. Probably the last one for a long, long time. I'll be on board. How do I know you're telling the truth? You lied for a job, Kaleem. I'm not just there. Well, this time I'm not. Damn it, Alicia. Can't you just trust me? Just this once? Like I trusted you with Alana. Nello Historia. All right. Have it your Arrest me, throw me into a cell, and watch while the order has me hanged. I've said everything I had to say. Get out. Get out and never come back. And if I ever see your fucking face again, it won't be the order who knocks your lights out. <sighs> Thanks, Leisha. I promise I... Get out! Farewell. Okei, okay, just toi kaveri ei murhauttanut sitä. Toi on epäivittävän näköinen. Niin, kuka sitten? Trust me, Alicia. Thanks, Kaleem. Thanks for nothing. What the... Wake her. Wait. Prophetess, can you hear me? By the name of the sun. So it worked. You were inside Lashari's memory. That was a tunteese. Ka 
Kaleem. I should have known. Who is this man? A former member of our order. A master spy. He was the one who fought the hardest against Constantine's decision to join forces with Aranthiel. I always thought he stayed behind in Nerim, but it seems I was wrong. He and someone else, at least according to your report. Bloody scum. Poisoned mead? How low can you get? <sighs> Forgive me. All this... It's... It's a lot to take in. They were a couple, yes. Even though I always told her to stay away from him. He was the biggest liar to ever walk the face of Vin. An excellent trait for a spy, but for a lover, it was a disaster. Thing is, she wouldn't listen. She always believed she could bring out the good in him. It was only when she found out that he had cheated on her with a Kabetian noblewoman that she had finally left him for good. Hmm. Ilana Kabrak, a young, powerful countess who supported our order. I'm guessing Kaleem hoped he'd become Count Kabrak if he slept with her long enough. She wasn't as gullible as Lashari, though, and dumped him when another, more influential northern lord asked for her hand. A smart woman, I have to hand it to her. She knew what she was in for, right from the start. As I said, he denounced our cooperation with the Holy Order, and even proceeded to threaten us if we went through with our alliance. We dismissed it as just so much hot air, which, as it turned out, cost Shannon. us dearly. Who knows? Had we been more cautious, Lashari might still be alive. I can think of a couple people, yes. Kalim wasn't the only one from our order who saw our cooperation with Aranthiel as a treason to our cause. On the other hand, it might still be someone from within the ranks of the Holy Order. No offense, Morail, but it's no secret that both we and Aranthiel still have plenty of enemies within the temple. Let's just hope that this glimmer cap dust bottle you found on the attack site can help us. It seems like our only chance. Or maybe he's already on that ship back to Nerim. We don't know. In other words, we're as smart as we were before. Not entirely. I will tell Commander Aaron about all this. Maybe she'll find more clues in that theater in the Undercity. We'll see. Now, please, excuse me. I... need some space. Thank you for your help, Prophet. I only wish we had learned more. Tragic. Truly tragic. I will see to her body and ensure that she gets a proper burial. Thanks again, Prophetess. You did all you could. Yes? Is it important? If not, please go away. I'm not in the mood for company. No, I want to Sa'ira, what part of I'm not in the mood for company don't you understand? Please, just... just leave me alone, okay? What? I don't need your pampering, your pity, or whatever it is you came here to do. I just want to be left alone. But you just don't get that, do you? You always come to me like a bloody dog. Why, Sa'ira? Why are you the only one who can't see me for what I am? All the others can. So what's the deal with you? You have no idea what you're saying. I'm a monster, damn it, a bloody abomination. And here you are, acting as if you are the only one who knows better. That's such a joke. The biggest joke since Starfall, and also the worst one. Back in old Dothalgran, when I killed that bandit. 
Do you have the slightest idea what my first impulse was when I was done with him? Blood on your face. How helpless you are, lying there. <laughs> and I would have enjoyed every moment of it. Is it? So an army of undead is harmless until they massacre the city they are marching towards? <laughs> you... You just have no idea. No idea how hard it is to always fight back. To not give in. All that, I... Why, Saira? Why do I have to be this way? I never asked to be brought back from the dead. I never wanted to become my father's failed experiment. And I never asked to have this... This perversion put in my head. Which seems to be all that bloody defines me. <laughs> Maybe I should just stop fighting it. Maybe that thing I became in the castle is my true face. And all of this is just a part of a mask that I try to trick myself into believing is real. <sighs> Interesting thought. But what does that mean? That I should just... Except that deep down, I'm a monster. I... I have to think, Saira. Thanks for your words, and thanks for being there. It means a lot to me. I... I need some space now, okay? Please just... Give me some time. Jousen tosiaan niinku voihdin tässä. Vähän parempi, huom tai huomattavastikin parempi jousen. Täällä saattaa kyllä hyvinkin juustosta porukkaa tulla vastaan. Jahan vaan tyyreitä. Musiikki on oppunut.
Mä oon vaan tyyrit huomas mut, mutta... Poistetaan vain paikalta, joo. Ai se regeneroi vielä kaiken lisäksi. Uhuhu. Mä jouduin sitten niinku... <laughs> ammentamaan tota... Ammentamaan niin... Aika juomia. Epätoivinen tapa voittaa.
Melkoinen gatekeeper kyllä oli. Pois mulla on kuumetta. 13 prossaa vasta. Okei, tuo oli vielä elossa. Ja mun kannatti tässä vaiheessa painaa eteenpäin. Tätäkin mä käytän jousta. Ihan, jär, ihan järkyttävää sontaa tää oli. Huhu. Mä vaan ammesin ihan hirveen ka kasan niinku 29 prosenttia kuuma. Okei, eli se tappo ton tän kaverin. Tai mä sitten ammuin sitä. Melkoinen työvoitto oli kyllä. Bandiitit alkaa olla aika kovia poikia tätä. Oh my 
Vaikka saisi rikki koukos pähkinää. Saattaa olla jonkin lisätehtävää liittyvä juttu. Joo. Okei, tuossa on kaupunki. Siellä saattaa olla niinku possessoituneita ihmisiä. Siinä on luola, luola myöskin. Ho there friend. What are you doing out here at this time of day? In a few hours the bone rippers will come out of their caves. And unless you're eager to meet one in person, you should see to it that you're far from here when that happens. Heard of it? I guess you could say that. Behind these gates is the Valley of Silvergrove, and... Hmm, you know what? Actually, I was just about to close the gate for the night. But if you're looking for our village anyway, why don't you just come in? I won't open them again until tomorrow noon, but that should be enough time for you to finish whatever business you have here. My dame Thalar's banana grog is a blast, if that helps you decide. Uh, is it? I think trust has to start somewhere, doesn't it? And I've got a good gut feeling about you. That has to be enough for starters. Glad to hear it. Follow me. Niin kuin ei ole punaisia silmiä ja ei puhu niin kuin irtonaisesta lihasta, niin luotettava tyyppi. All right then, here we are. You'll find our village if you just follow that road down there. At least to the grove, you can hardly miss it. It's a really nice place. I bet you'll like it there. Since that boy found the silver vein in the grove, we live like the lightborn do in Inadan, really. So I guess this is farewell, isn't it? Unless you have questions. Well, you know, Silver Grove wasn't always as nice a place as it is now. Back in the old days, it was quite harsh, actually. But then, some traveler came by and left us with a small boy. He had a terrible disease, and I suppose that's why the guy just abandoned him. I don't know how someone can be that heartless, but it was probably for the best. Ulbar adopted him, and... Hmm, when exactly was that? Four years ago, the boy found a silver vein while he was playing in a small cave near the grove. And, well, from then on the wealth just flowed in pretty much by itself. Come to think of it, I don't want to imagine what this place would be like without the little fella. His name is Rhaenaeus, or at least that was the name stitched on the blanket that stranger left him with. Who knows? Maybe you'll see him for yourself. He's quite popular. <laughs> I'm no apothecarius, but he had these tumors all over his face, and his left leg was entirely crippled. But just a few moons after Ulbar took him in, he started getting better. The weather, maybe? I don't know. But I'm glad it happened. That boy is a treasure. Anything else? Otherwise, I'm damn ready for a nap. 
A headache? Nah, sorry. Could be the heat. Maybe you were just thirsty. I wouldn't worry too much about it if I were you. Any more questions? Ah, don't mention it. Walk blessed. Mielenkiintoista tosiaan. Et eikö kaikki se oo ajanut sen musta kivi kaikki omistajat hulluiksi? Niin miten sitten tää poika ei... Sillä menee kaikki hyvin. Okei, okay, tykki on sen Tää on tämmönen keidas. Avaime. Walk blessed. Oh, uh, you're an Eterna, aren't you? Your ears, they, um, they look different. I have Perus. Perus, Have you uh, heard? Juttelua. Apparently, Rhineos's father patched up this weird sphere his boy found in the old ruin. Yeah, I heard about it. What's it good for? Well, I don't understand that myself. But Tahara said that some people from Ark would pay hundreds for that thing. Old Starling craft, that's what she said. Pah. Too bad they'll never get their hands on it. They'd only use it to make some killing machine out of it. By the righteous path. How glad am I to live here and not in that stinking hole of a city. Tell me about it. Anyway, I have business to do. Take care. Yes, you too. Now look at that, a new face. Welcome to Silver Grove. Sure. Walk blast. Walk blast. Sure. Psioni cop, you Walk 
Walk blast. Hmm. Jokinlainen laite on löydetty. Reneus has the greatest father in the whole world. Sometimes I'm really jealous. Täällä jampureet menossa. Walk blast. Walk blast. Walk blast. And welcome to Silent Moons Inn. You're not from around here, are you? How can I help you? Yes, you're right. I haven't been on the outside for ages, and honestly, I don't plan to change that anytime soon. Most of this place's beauty is owed to the river that comes from the mountain. There's a nice little legend about how it came to be. Care to hear it? All right then. I'm sure you already saw the ancient ruin near the waterfall, didn't you? It is said that once a wealthy couple of sublime path lived there. They were tired of the mainland's never-ending troubles and thus moved here, which is an odd choice, especially considering that before the oasis grew, this place was little more than dust and sand. But nevertheless, they did, and they hired the best craftsmen in Doonville to build them a home here. Fruit, bread, and water had to be brought here weekly. Lavish, but it worked. After a couple of years living there, the woman gave birth to a child, Sinari, a healthy boy, young and strong. Only six months after his birth, he already knew how to speak and walk. It all seemed as if the family would lead a happy life there for years to come. But then, something strange happened. The Myrads stopped coming. Days passed, weeks, and finally, moons. No matter how long they waited, they just wouldn't come. And slowly but surely, their provisions would run out. The route to Doonville was far too perilous to be traveled alone, so they were trapped. We will die here, the father said as they sat together one day, he and his wife emaciated and weak, since they saved all the food that was left for their son. Sonari was desperate. He screamed, cried and asked the gods for help, but he was powerless. One gray, desolate morning, it was over, and both his mother and father were dead. Weakened and starving himself, the son then stood in front of his beloved parents' bodies, fell to his knees, and whispered, Why is this happening to me? What have I done to deserve such cruelty? And he started crying. And then, a miracle happened. As the first tears reached the dusty ground, a flower started sprouting, and only a second later, it was fully grown. Then grass, and then, just like a flood, a wave of life crashed through the dusty valley, and everywhere, wonderful plants and trees came into being. And finally, before the boy had even realized what had happened, a stream of water crashed through the rock. And as Sonari lay there, his body fragile and his eyes wet, he realized what he had done without understanding how. He smiled, closed his eyes, and died. Well, that's it. According to the legend, the grove has been the way it is now ever since then. Mm, legend. So? How did you like the story? Oh, you're welcome. It was one of my favorite stories when I was younger, despite the ending. <laughs> yes, I won't argue with that. And do you want to know something bizarre? I don't have the slightest idea why my companion and I chose the name back in those days. The memory seems a little blurry, unreal. Huh, but I sure do. And you know what? Take this on the house as a welcoming present. It's a handmade date cake. The best in the entire desert. We don't get visitors too often.
blessed, walk blessed, and welcome to Cy- Moon's in. You're not from around here, are you? How can I help you? Foster father, but yes, I am. Why do you ask? Do you know Reneus? Is it? Well then, be my guest. His room is just through that door over there. I think he's reading at the moment, but he always likes company. Hmm, you sure ask a lot of questions, my dame. But okay, why not? You know, I'm a widower. My companion and I always wanted to have a foster kid before Reneus. But as you said, life here was harsh, especially before Reneus discovered the silver veins. Frankly, we barely had enough to eat ourselves, and there weren't exactly a lot of orphans around here to take in either. Well, when my companion died, I was occupied with my thoughts, as you can imagine. Flesh maggots. There was nothing I or the apothecary could do for him. And Reneus appeared out of nowhere, discarded like a blunt knife. I saw him and I just... I don't know. How could I just leave him there? What kind of person could? It was demanding at first, to say the least, especially with his condition. But even then, I never regretted it. In any case, I'm glad it all happened like it did. Here in Silvergrove, we are all one big happy family, and every day I can feel how happy Reneus is. <laughs> yes, but you know, trust has to start somewhere, and in my experience, it is all... Well, you sure know a lot about my boy. For some reason, those tumors he had started healing shortly after he arrived here. And no, I don't know why. And frankly, I'm not sure I want to. But you know what? We would never have abandoned him, like the ones who brought him here did. Reneus has a good heart, and that's all that... There's... Mielenkiintoista, jos tää paikka on jotenkin erilainen. Whoa there, you gave me a start. Who are you? I don't think I've seen you before. Ark? That's way out there, isn't it? Then you must be very happy to. Hey Thoris, what are you doing? Oh, Blazes, that's my favorite toy. You, um, you look as if you can run fast. Can you catch Thoris for me and get my teddy back? If you don't, I'm sure he will bury it somewhere in the sand. And I'll never get it back then. Could you? Man, that's really nice of you. Then run, quickly, before he's gone. <laughs> okay. Greetings. Walk blessed. It 
tämmöisiä questeja ikinä niinku jossain virallisessa Elder Scrollsissa olisi. Jaha, kävit sitten kaverin luona. Tällä vanhoja raunioita. So, did you catch him? You found it? Show me. Retha and Gages will be so jealous when I tell them that I have a friend like you. You are my friend, aren't you? Questions? Sure. You help me, and now I'll help you. That's what friends do, isn't it? I think I'm seven. Yes, that's it. Seven years old. Sick. Yes, I think I was. I had these bumps all over my face, and they itched all day long. But it just went away when I got older, and now I can run faster than even Gages. And he's quick, let me tell you. Yeah, I do. They're so beautiful, aren't they? You know, here in Silvergrove, we have them in so many more colors than the outside does. Daddy told me that once. I catch them, put them into a jar for a day or two, so that I can draw them, and then I free them again. Where I'm from? What do you mean? My real father? I don't know what you mean. I was born here, just like all the others. Um, is it? I don't know. Daddy taught me how to read very early, and I just love books are like, like pictures you can enter whenever you want. When I'm older, I want to write them too. A stone, but what would you want with a stone? Hmm. Okay. Yes. I think I know which stone you're talking about. And yes, I can show you where it is. But only under one condition. That we make a bargain. That's what you grown-ups call it, isn't it? A bargain? It's simple. You grant me three wishes, and I show you where the stone is. Well, I can ask for three things that you have to do for me. And don't worry. It will be fun. You'll see. What do you say? Do we have a deal? Awesome. I knew you would say yes, and we can start right away. Just come down to the beach in a few minutes. Okay. No okei, okay. Kalia herätettiin henkiin sen mustan kivän avulla. Nää muut omistajat, niillä on vaan tapahtunut. Tää ni niistä on tullut suureen huja, kun ne on saanut magiaa mustan kiven ansiosta. Tälle pojalla oli magia mukana musta kivi. Tuoksi niin kun jotain lapsuuden viattomuutta vai mitä? Kun tää on dark fantasia, niin tää on äärimmäisen epäilyttävää. Miksi tää on just tämmönen... Miksi tää paikka tuntuu liian hyvältä? Näillä menee aivan liian hyvin, hyvin täällä. Ottaa huomioon, että niillä pitäisi olla äärimmäisen kirottu esine täällä. Et 
tietysti Sedelleen lin, linna oli vähän sillä että paikalliset oli... Tää, tää niinku parantaja oli oikeesti niinku kaivannu verta nenästä niinku ihan tikarilla, että... Pienimuotoinen fiksaatio. Mut sehän saattaa olla, että se kivi vaan jollakin tavalla heijastaa niinku ihmisen sisäistä pahuutta tai jotain muuta, että jos on tarpeeksi vieton, niin lapsen mielinen se vaan ei yksinkertaisesti niin. Good. One more time. The left switch makes it go faster. The right one starts it. You got it? Yeah. Thanks, Daddy. You're the best father in the whole world. And you are the best son. But look who came. I will leave you two to it, okay? <laughs> and remember, Daddy. don't steer it toward the village. You don't want anyone getting hurt. Have a good time, you two. Hey, that was hyvin quick. Sen unen so, isältä. are you ready? It will be a blast. I promise. <clears throat> okay. Actually, it's really simple. Do you know how to shoot a bow? I knew it. Awesome. So, now look. Ah, isn't it awesome? That's a starling sphere. Daddy found it in the old ruin down by the beach and put it back together for me. And he said it's really, really old. Great, isn't it? Eli iska pisti ton kasa. Yes, it is. But Daddy is like a wizard when it comes to fixing things. Every time I break something, he just glues it back together like nothing happened. Well, what do you think? We'll try it out. I've always wanted to do that, but Daddy said that I'm too young to use a bow. But you aren't. So, that's my first wish. I want you to try out the sphere with me. Easy. You take the bow over there, and I let the sphere fly free. Then you need to aim for it and hit it before I make it land again. Ah, and don't start firing before it is open. Otherwise, your arrow... First, I'll make it fly slowly, but in the second and third rounds, I'll make it go faster. Awesome! Don't worry if you do poorly. Ta-da! Isn't it awesome? And he said it's really, really old. All righty. Let's go. One, two. This is so much fun. I'll make it go faster now. Get ready. One, two, and three. Woohoo! Strike! Crazy. Come, let's see how fast it can go. On my mark. One, two, and go. Woohoo! Strike! Yay! Good one. Yes! That was awesome! Was great. 
The bad guys must be really afraid of you. So, what do you say? Another round? Maybe you can do even better. I knew that you... On my mark. One, two, and go! Yay! Good one! Woohoo! Strike! This is so much fun. I'll make it go faster now. Get ready. One, two, and three. Woohoo! Strike! Yes! That was awesome! Yes! That was awesome! Wow, that was crazy. Come, let's see how fast it can go. On my mark. One, two, and go. Yes, that was awesome. Yay, good one. So, what do you say? Another round? Maybe you can do even better. Yeah, sure. That must be tiring, huh? But you did great, really. Thank you for playing with me. I'll go back to the village and tell Daddy that we're done. Just come back to the house when you're ready to hear my second wish. Ah, uh, hey. That was really fun, wasn't it? You'll see, in Summer Grove, it's always like that. No one's ever video. angry around here. And they're all nice to each other. Hmm. You know, you could stay here if you'd like. I'm sure Daddy and the others would help you build a house. And then we could play together every day. Awesome. I'm sure you'd be so much happier here than anywhere else. Anyway, I now know what my second wish is gonna be. Ready to hear it? Alrighty. As you know, I really, really love to collect butterflies. To draw them. And by now, I've drawn almost every kind that can be found around Silvergrove. Except for one, the Moonglow Moth. And that's my second wish. I want you to help me catch some of them. They look so incredibly awesome. Their wings are black and blue at the same time. And they shine in the sunlight like, um, like crystals. Normally, it's very hard to catch them because they are really, really tiny. But I know a trick. You have to search with your eyes and your ears at the same time. If you listen closely, you can hear this weird ring noise that they make when they fly. And that can help you find them, even in the forest. Just be careful when you catch them. I don't want them to get hurt or anything. Here, I'll give you 15 jars. But if you find seven of them, that should be enough. Yeah, the Moonglow Meadow. That's next to the old water mill. You have a map, don't you? Here. I'll make a cross where the meadow starts. I'll wait for you in the village, just in front of the tavern. Just meet me there when you're done. Have fun and good luck.
uh, you're an Eterna, aren't you? Your ears, they, um, they look different. Farewell. Walk blast. Walk blast. A stranger in our village. Now that's quite a sight. So, allow me to greet you properly. Welcome to our beautiful home. I hope you enjoy your stay here. you are so have you already caught enough or do you want to keep looking some more yeah that's awesome thank you so much I could never have found that many without you I am sure that was fun wasn't it awesome I knew you'd like it and I've got something else prepared for you just let me take the jars back home first. See you soon. Ah, there you are. It was really nice of you to help Reneas find those butterflies. He's been trying to catch them for months now, but he's just not fast enough. You know, whenever I see the two of you, I can't help but see you as siblings. Aha. Uh -huh. You should really think about settling down here. I'm sure the village could use someone with your abilities. Oh my, I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? I think Reneas has prepared something for you. He's waiting near the back door. Hey, good to see you. Are you... Are you ready for my last wish? I think you will like it. I'll tell you in a moment. Let's go to the old ruin near the waterfall. I've prepared a little surprise for you there. Come, lead the way. Okay, see that door over there? That's the entrance. Here, this key should open the door. Uh huh. Myöskin aika paha enteistä. 
Hmm. So, ta-da! That's the surprise I promised you. Do you see it? That's us on the beach here in Silver Grove, right where we tested the sphere. Do, do you like it? It's really nice, isn't it? Why? Of course me. Who else? It turned out really well, didn't it? Do you think so? I thought you'd like it, but I wasn't sure. Thank you. This, it really means a lot to me. Can I tell you my last wish now? After that, I will give you the stone. Just like we agreed. I promise. I... I want you to stay here. I want you to stay and be part of the family. I'm sure Daddy would let you move in if I ask him. Then we could play together every day. And every night we'd have supper with Daddy like, like we were siblings. It would be so great, wouldn't it? But why not? Why? I just don't understand. It's so much better here in Silver Grove than anywhere else. No one is ever hungry or sick, and there are never any clouds or rain. What is there in that stupid city that you need to get back to? The world out there, it's so, so cruel, so cold. Or is it me? It's me, isn't it? I've been a bad little brother to you, and all my games were stupid and boring. But I will change all that, I promise. I still want you to leave. Without you, I'll be alone again. And I don't want to be alone anymore. Yes, I will be. <laughs> There's something I need to tell you, but I'm afraid that you will hate me when I do. Just like all the others. It's just, I don't know where to start. I never wanted them to be trapped here. <laughs> no. You have to believe me. But it was the only way to make them love me. Back then, they were always mean to me. Even though I never did anything wrong. Every time Daddy took me out on the streets, they called me freak, demon, and things like that. Don't you see? Everybody hated me. They all did. And it was all just because I had those bumps on my face. And my left leg was like a big clump. Only Daddy loved me, and he took care of me. No, no, I never was. All this here, it started when the old woman died. Yes, one day she just fell down and died. As she walked past our house, her heart stopped beating. That's what Daddy said. But all the others said it was me that I killed the woman with wild magic because I'm a pathless demon, a freak. But that's a lie. I never wanted to hurt anyone, ever. You think you they always said that because they hated me from the start. No, nothing is all right, nothing at all. They came two days after that happened. It was already dark, and Daddy and I were asleep when all of a sudden they came into my room and tried to pull me out of my bed. I screamed and I cried, and then Daddy came and started screaming too and punched one of the men in the face. And then, then, one of the women pulled a knife from her coat and she... Yes. I don't think she wanted to, but she just stabbed him in his belly again and again. And suddenly, there was blood everywhere, on the floor, on my drawings, on the bed sheets, even on Thoris's basket. Then they looked at each other in a weird way and just ran. Do you understand? They just ran and left me and Daddy there. I was so afraid, sister. I was so afraid. And then the stone started speaking to me. Yes, 
Do you see the necklace? The stone is in there. Daddy said I already had it when they found me. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier, but I was afraid that when you found out where it was, you would just take it and leave. It said that it could make everything better, that I could make it so Daddy didn't die, and that all my wishes would come true. I would finally be able to walk like the others, and everyone would love me as if I were normal. What do you think? I said. Yes. Then everything went black and I felt a tickle in my tummy, like when Daddy used to lift me in the air to play my rad. When I woke up again, everything was different. It was day, and my room was so beautiful and light, and there was toys everywhere, and Daddy wasn't bleeding anymore, but was sitting on my bed, and he told me that I just had a bad dream, and that I should go look in the mirror, and when I did, I saw that I looked different, like the other children, just normal. Yes, and no, it's the normal world, but different. It is as I want it to be. Yes, I think that the stone can make every person here in Silver Grove see the world that I want and do what I want them to, even before I knew it myself. At first, I was so happy, you know? Everything was so beautiful. There were date pies every night, and everyone loved me. Even the other children played with me because I didn't have the bumps anymore. I was so happy because I found out that they were only nice to me because I want them to be and they all just do what I want them to do all the time. When I play tag with Gages, for example, it's not really him that I'm running from, it's me. He's just like a doll, a puppet, and everyone who comes into Silver Grove becomes like that, even if I don't want them to. But you are different. I felt it the moment Gummack let you through the gate. You see my silver grove, but you do what you want, not what I want. I don't know, but whenever I look at you, it's like, like a part of you isn't really there. I know it sounds weird, but that's how it is. No, no, I can't. The stone. They told me once what would happen if I did. Everyone would die because they haven't eaten anything real for years. It's only me, only my wishes that make them healthy, you see? And even if that didn't happen, I never want to go back out there. Daddy would die and I would have the bumps again and everyone would hate me. That is why you have to stay, don't you see? Together. We can be happy here, and I wouldn't be alone anymore. Please, I beg you. This is my third wish, and you promised me that you'd fulfill all of them. You promised me. No, there isn't. We'd all die if I made this world go away. You, me, everyone, you have to stay. Why don't you believe me? There isn't. And even if there was, I wouldn't do it. You know why? Because you'd hate me out there, just like all the others. You'd see my face, the bumps, my leg, and you'd spit on me and just run away. I know you would, because it's always been like that. Always. I just can't take it anymore. Can't you see? I just can't. You say that now, but how can I know it's the truth? How can I know you won't run away when you see how I really look? Tell me, tell me how I can trust you. Promise, but maybe you're right. You were always nice to me from the beginning. But what if the stone is right and we really do die if I make this world go away? Not just the others, but us too. I'm so scared. I don't want you to die. Yes, yes, maybe you're right. Okay, then give me... Wait, wait, what is this? I feel so... 
Weird. Oh no, the stone. It's in my head. Help me, sister. Help me. It hurts so much. I... Uh... Ja. Jaha. Nu är det här rummet. You were right, sister. We we made it. No, I I don't think so. The bumps, they they hurt so bad, you know? Yes. Thank you. Ja. Daddy, Daddy, is that you? I'm so sorry about the vase. That was Thoris, and I. <coughs> <coughs> yes, yes, I saw one of them this morning. You were right. You know, sometimes all you need to do for a wish to come true is to hold on to it long enough. Can you, can you start us a fire now, Daddy? I'm cold. 
so cold. Hevonen. The prodigy, huh? Apparently we owe you for the shards of this sigil stone. Well met. Yes? Oh my, that is horrible. I knew Dalgais wasn't exactly a paragon of virtue, but to abandon one's son simply because... <sighs> I will never understand those sorts of people. But still... This tragedy tells us we were right about our theory regarding the stones. To destroy the village and make this boy suffer, that is perfidious, truly perfidious. At least we now have all the stones. Let us complete the mosaic. If we could really direct this and use it against the high ones, whew, it might work. It just might work. Now are we... Wait a moment. Do you feel that? Something's different. The sea of eventualities. I can't feel it anymore. No, I... I don't think so. It's like a veil put in front of my eyes. This doesn't bode well. It truly does not. Shaorim. He's currently trying to raise the barriers. The ones at the gates. They are meant to magically seal them a as a protection against Korak's armies. The walls are nearly impenetrable, but the gates aren't. Shaorim said he would raise entropical barriers to take care of that. Quickly, go see him and find out what is going on. I will secure the beacon as best I can. Go. Find Shaorim and find out what's happening. Quickly now. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ei muuta kuin vaan menoksi sitten. Seuraavalla kerralla.